Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the Maclaurin series for this function. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so the trick to doing this is to realize that um, when you differentiate this twice, uh, it will then give you something very similar to this. So the trick is to uh, to differentiate this twice. So rewrite this as um, rewrite this as one minus x to the power of minus one. So uh, so rewrite this as as one minus x as one minus x to the power of minus one. And when you differentiate it, this will come down. That will then give you this negative one. The bubble stays intact. The power gets minus by one, and then you times the derivative of the bubble itself. That will then give you this. So minus one times minus one, blah blah. This will then give you this. Now, so so when you differentiate it once, it will give you this. Differentiate it again, it will give you this. Now this is what we want. Um, we want basically we want half of this. So um, well, if you differentiate this twice, it will give you something similar to what we want. So we later on we can manipulate this. So let's start again. So make use of this. Hang on. So so make use of this. So uh, so one over one minus x will be this. So hang on. So one over one minus x will be this. So start out with this. Um, so differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. Remember, you start at um, here is zero. You start at once uh, at um, at one once you differentiate it. Because if if you look at this, uh, when uh, when when n is zero, this is going to be a constant here, and and then blah blah. When you let's say uh, a one x, and then you put plus a two x squared. When you differentiate this, this is going to be this is a constant, so it's going to be zero. And then uh, when you differentiate this, it's going to be a one. So uh, so you ignore this. So rather than starting at n equals zero, you start at, at here. You start at here because this this thing here is going to be zero. Well, anyway, when you differentiate it, you start at one. Okay. Now now so 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 here differentiated that will then give you this. And then and then uh, and then from here differentiate it again. So if you differentiate this, that will then give you this. Remember, there's a two here. And then differentiate this, that will then give you this. And again, remember, here you start at one, here you start at two. So, uh, so that will then give you this. But because we want, um, because we want one over, because we want one over one minus x to the power of three, we would need to um, divide both sides by two. So uh, divide this side by two, that will then give you this. Divide this by two. That will then give you this. So um, so now um, now it's just a matter of tidying up. Um, here we, we've used this trick before. Here you start at n equals two. So if you if you want to start at n equals zero, then um, then decrease this by by two. But then all the ends you increase it by two. So here you would have uh, you would here you decrease this by two. So you start at zero, and then here you would put n plus 2 into this n and then you would put n plus 2 um, into this n and then you would put n plus 2 into this n and, and then the whole thing here the whole thing here would become this it's much neater so this is your your final series okay